they just said, here, Julie, I think you'll be good at this. And they gave me the airbrushes, and that was how I got introduced to the face painting world. <laughs> I did a lot of studying on the internet because I had no idea what I was doing. And then through the years, we just can gradually going to workshops and conventions and kind of learning more about airbrushing and face painting and getting ideas. Lately, the last five years, we've had the same group of people face painting. They, they just kind of learn just like I did. They just jump into it and everybody watches everybody and sees what one guy's doing. And, and then people come up and ask, say, hey, I want to start face painting. And then we kind of go from that and see what their skill level is. <laughs> And don't give that free <laughs> It's just the haunted castle. And it's just where I fit in, I guess, and that's why I come back. Uh, it just gets into your blood, I guess. I don't know why I come back. <laughs> but I do. It's fun. A couple nights ago, he said it makes him want to throw up. But I've never, I said, I've never heard that before. <laughs> but he made it through. But then other people just absolutely can't wait to get all bloody and messed up and the bloodier the better.